cooking. Good morning, everybody. We're going to Starbucks. We're going to have a wonderful day today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's so nice. Feels oh, hot. Jordan ones. Grandma shoes. <laughs> these are not grandma shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. I love these. Looks so good. My eggs are not burnt today. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. The inside doesn't have run in it though. No, they look good. I don't know if I said oh, welcome back to a new vlog or not yet. So if I didn't, welcome back. <laughs> I am about to shower and get ready. It is already pretty late into the day. It's 1.22 right now, but I need to like fully get ready and do the whole shebang shower. So I'm going to wash my hair. I'm going to exfoliate, I'm going to shave, and I'm just going to get completely ready. And the reason is because Brandon and I are actually going to a wedding today. And I don't know the people getting married. I've never met them. But I'm just a plus one, so I don't really know what to expect. I have no idea what the wedding is going to be like or even really where it is. Brandon told me that it's at a golf course, like maybe an hour from my apartment. So that's pretty much all the details that I have, but I still want to look like really nice and do my hair and yeah, just like get completely ready. So I figured today I could give you guys an updated shower care routine and also like post shower because I have some new products that I really like and I have some that I've been using for a while that I'm just like obsessed with. So we are going to do that, but I'm going to shower first and then I'll tell you about it. I do really need to wash my hair and I got this new hair mask, so I'm going to do that too. If you're curious on which razor I use, I have the Flamingo razor and I just got this at Target. Well, I didn't just get it. I've had it for a while, but I bought an extra pack of the heads for it. So I'm just going to switch one out. I love using a new razor. My shave is always like so much better, but you just clip it on and I just think it's really affordable. It's like good quality and yeah, I like it. I've been Using this brand for a while and I also like their shave cream but I'm out of that so I need to get a new one soon. This is not going on. shower was so amazing my hair already feels a little softer from the mask i'll have to see how it is when i dry it but i just shampooed then i put the hair mask in i let it sit for like 10 minutes you usually want to let them sit for like 10 to 15 minutes and i'm someone that like doesn't want to wash it out early so i like doing it on days when i fully and shave because then it gives it time to like sit and actually like do something and then I rinsed out and conditioned but I'll have to see like what my hair feels like when I curl it um a little bit later but I've been really into like clean beauty products and just things that are cruelty free and good quality I think it's important to just invest in your hair care your body care your skin care and I have been wanting to like use better quality stuff. So I got some new things at Nordstrom. I went to, they have like this tab on their website where you can look at all of their clean beauty stuff. 
So I picked some new things from them and then I did in-store pickup, but I love Nordstrom. I'm such a Nordstrom girl. I used to work there for a few years and I just really like that they have such good um, customer service. They have fast shipping and like the best return policy. I went and I did in-store pickup because I'm like all about scents with products and I wanted to make sure I liked the way it smelled. So I went in to actually like smell everything and then I bought it but I so far like like all the stuff that I've gotten today was the first day that I used the hair mask but I've used everything else already so I'll show you my new products I got the Brigio super moisture shampoo and then also their conditioner I've been needing some new shampoo and conditioner, but I wanted one that was hydrating because my hair has been pretty dry since it's summertime and I've been swimming a lot and just in the sun, but there's no harsh sulfates, silicones, no parabens, and it does smell really good. And then I also got their deep conditioning mask. Lauren told me to buy this. She says that she loves it and uses it all the time. So I got this because of her. But these are all clean beauty, like I said, and I got them at Nordstrom. They carry Necessaire, and you guys know how much I'm obsessed with Necessaire. So I bought the body wash in Sandalwood because I've been wanting to try out this scent. And then I also got their exfoliator. I feel like this is a good scent going into fall. So that's why I decided to buy it. But I also have it in Eucalyptus and Fragrance Free. I really like the Eucalyptus scent just because it smells so clean. And then I did buy the OC Salts of Earth Body Scrub at Nordstrom. And I like that you can use this one on a daily basis. Like it's a bit more soft than the Necessaire one. So I would use the Necessaire like pretty much once or twice a week. But this one just like feels so good. And you can bring all of your like empty containers to your local Nordstrom or Nordstrom rack once they're done. And they accept a lot of different ones to recycle them. They're aiming to recycle 100 tons of beauty packaging by 2025. So I definitely recommend doing that to help out. And they just like want to encourage people to move towards a zero waste beauty routine. These ones are my post shower products. So I've been using all three of these. I literally love Necessaire so much, but this is their body serum and I love the feeling of this. The consistency of it is just so smooth. And then I use their lotion and I got their body oil at Nordstrom. I've been really wanting a body oil ever since I started using a new face oil and I really like this one. You can use all of these on a daily basis. I want you guys to be able to see the consistency of these. So I do the serum first and it just blends in so nicely. Then I'll go in with the lotion. So I just do a little bit of that. I'm just showing you guys on one leg, but I need to do my whole body. And then this is the oil. So you can just do like a drop or two. Again, this feels like so nice. So that is the post shower body care routine. I'm officially wedding ready and this is what the dress looks like on. I like that the slit is pretty high up and it's just a very comfortable dress. The dress also comes in a few different colors so I'll link this one and then you guys can see what other colors they have available because I'm not sure what they have right now. And then I just have on my black Gucci bag and these black block heels from Steve Madden. I love wearing these heels. They're so comfortable and I never have to worry about my feet hurting with them. There was another dress that I was also debating on wearing, but Brandon is wearing a gray shirt, not a white one. And the other dress would have looked better if I was wearing like white shoes and a white bag and he was wearing white and I want to like match for a wedding. So I went for the black, but I like how classy it looks and this is just a very comfy dress. So I did a little jewelry, my hair and makeup. I'm going to spray my hair too, but maybe I shouldn't do that in the car. Do not <laughs> even think about spraying your hair in the car. Nope. How far until we get there? 20 minutes. What's it called? 20 to 25 minutes. Paiute. Is this like... 
like a place where a lot of people get married? Honestly, I've never been there. I know it's like a super nice golf course though. No. So we'll find out. Yeah. Supposedly it's ridiculous and nice, so we'll see. I'll be the judge of that. I'm excited. Even though I don't know anyone except for Brandon, like really I love know that person. weddings. Love them. Hopefully there isn't anything in my teeth. I have just been sitting in front of my laptop for a little while this morning getting some work done. I've had to do some editing, respond to some emails, and so I'm getting caught up on that. And then I also need to plan out my week and write down some stuff for the month of August in my new planner that I got. I bought this at Target and I think the print is super cute. They had a few other prints. There was like this blue one that I wanted to get, but they didn't have it in this size of the planner. And I thought that this was like a good medium sized one. But I'm gonna do that. I just wanna have like a very productive week. And so planning it out makes it a lot easier for me to accomplish everything. So I'm gonna write down like my day for um, today and then what I want to buy at the grocery store. So I'm going to do a whole grocery list. I need to buy like not everything that I'm going to eat this week, but a good majority of it. And then I want to do a little bit of meal prepping tonight because that just makes it a lot easier for me. I really like meal prepping so that I don't have to cook every single day and I don't mind eating food like heated up. Some people don't like leftovers, but I could really care less. I just like... Oh my god, that scared me so bad. I always hate when the door rings because I don't want to answer it right away. Okay, well, I definitely got a package delivered, but I'm not going to open the door and get it yet. Whenever I hear the doorbell ring and I think that a package was left at my door, I just don't open it i like wait for a while the wedding was so pretty on saturday like the view of the lake was so gorgeous so i really enjoyed the wedding and going to that we got home like pretty late that night so yeah my mom ordered me this on amazon it's a desktop vacuum cleaner and my mom is literally the best mom, you guys. She always listens to everything that I need. And she also watches all of my YouTube videos. You might notice her like comment in the comment section sometimes. But she knew that I needed to get something to clean the area for my espresso machine because I was talking about how it gets really dirty over there and like I get grinds everywhere and so I wanted to get like a mat or something and she said that her friend has one of these desktop vacuum cleaners for her Breville Barista Touch and she like cleans the area over there after she makes her coffee with this so my mom ordered it for me just thinking that I would love it and use it and so i thought that, that was so nice but i'm gonna open it and try it it's so cute and little look at it has that on the bottom it says Turn the switch off and on. The battery into the battery socket ready to work. How do I? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God. Of 
course I would drop it. <laughs> I must have broke it before I even used it. Um, okay, what? This is what the counter usually looks like over here. You can see that there's like coffee stained on it, so I need to wipe it down. But I have all the coffee grinds just because it gets everywhere. So I put the batteries in and we can try it. This is so satisfying, you guys. I just finished like vacuuming up the whole area and it actually works really well. So I'll link it for you guys. Shout out to baby mama for that. I have some extra beans in here. So I'm going to add these to this. I almost tried to put this on here. <laughs> I love having this little jar for my extra beans. I just got ready for the day, so I wanted to show you a little outfit. I went down to my gym and I did a workout, but I didn't film it because there was people down there and I always feel awkward because like I don't want to put others on camera when they like don't want to be. And the gym is pretty small, so it's like no matter where I put the camera, they're like going to be in it. So I just did a glutes and quads workout. And then I got like a little ready so I can go do my errands. I just put on this like baby graphic tee that's from Princess Polly. And then these pants are from them too. The pants came with a matching top, but the top is so hard to get off. The last time I wore it, I had to have Brandon get it off me because it was so tight. So I can't wear that very often just because it's kind of uncomfortable. But I put the pants on because I do like the pants. It's weird because like the pants are looser than the top was. But I just paired it with my Birkenstock clogs and then this little white bag. I am like so into street style wear, you guys. You probably already know that. But I just like live for comfier fits. Before I go, I just wanted to unbox a couple packages that I ordered. I got some new coffee table books and decor for the shelf unit in here. I'm so excited about these ones. I had a lot of coffee table books saved that I wanted to buy and I only ordered a few the first round and then I was like, I'm just going to get them all because I know I'm going to use them and love them. So I might as well just like spend the money and get all of them. There's one in particular that I wanted the most. This one right here, which is so pretty. I got a couple with some color in them just because I've been wanting to add more color and warmth in my apartment and I figured if I got some books with that it would help. This is kind of like a burnt orange color. It looked more red online but I really like the color in person. And then this one right here um, has like some green in it and then also like some neutrals and some blend tones. These books are so stunning. I honestly got all of them recommended from Armin Olano. He is like the most amazing content creator and just like has the best interior design style. This one came like a little bent. When I opened up my mailbox, I saw that these two coffee table books didn't come like in a box and I feel like that is so dumb of Amazon to ship it like that because they get like a little messed up, but whatever. I don't really care that much. They're going to be like on the shelf and you won't even be able to see it. But yeah, so I got all four of these, which I'll show you up close in a second and then I also ordered these two things from Target. These came in like a bigger box, so I already opened the big box and then they just shipped like this. 
when I placed the order for Target, I did it on the app and I like clicked place order, but then the order like did go through. So I ordered it again and then all of it showed up twice. So I accidentally ordered it twice and had to go return some of it. I ordered these vases and Arvin actually recommended this one and then there was another one he recommended but it's sold out now so i did like notify me on target because i want it if it comes back look how cute this is though like i love this color oh i'm obsessed so this is one that i got which i think is so stunning and then this one like these are my two favorites that i have gotten i just like that they're gonna add some color and i feel like on camera it's still showing up kind of red but this is like pretty burnt orange and then i also got the down to earth book and then this one right here which is the this is home so i need to take all those and then these two like vases that I got and put them on to the shelf unit but I do hope I can get the third one of this I feel like it's gonna fall because I thought that that would be a cute like little set You got the groove like this Check the weather, find out what's the move right quick We could go together, I'll come through in my whip I put fish together, I ain't soothe my drip I don't do the counterfeit, I'm too authentic Thankful when I wake up in the morning Don't hit my line if I want like what is concerning I just wanna vibe out for the moment I know you feel that too I got some time, tell me what you wanna do Hop in the ride, I'ma slide back the roof Rotating my tires, sliding down the avenue Curating the vibes like it's all I ever knew Can't copy my style, I don't follow set of rules You know the right decision, better choose When you see it, time to move Caught up in the moment, can't escape it I have restyled this 10 million times And no matter how I do it I just like don't like it enough So I just need to buy some like statue pieces Or different candle holders or something So this doesn't look so monochromatic It's definitely better And I like it the best this way but i need to buy some other things so this is just temporary i just pulled up to trader joe's i was debating on going here or whole foods but i feel like i can get a majority of the stuff that i want here and for a better price so we're shopping here oh my god i just got so much of this on my face this is my favorite lip balm and i bought this one in the vanilla i think this one is the vanilla beige and i like that it gives your lips a little bit of a tint and yeah i've been wearing it like every day lately but i'm going to trader joe's i wrote a little list on my notes in my phone so i know like pretty much everything that i want to get i'm gonna bake some chicken and then I'm gonna buy salmon probably to either bake or grill. I probably won't cook the salmon today. And then I wanna make some rice and roast some veggies just so that I have some food that I can eat and heat up and then I'll probably make something else like more interesting during the week. But I'm gonna get some like basic staples that I need and then I can go to the grocery store again because I need to go to Whole Foods for the other stuff that I want or I could get that at Sprouts. It's so hot right now, especially in my car. It says that it's 102 out. I've been trying to drink a lot of water. So I've been bringing this water bottle with me everywhere and like putting the tablets in it because it makes it taste so good. But I'm going to run in now.
was a successful Trader Joe's run. I got some organic free range chicken. I already have some other chicken to cook so I only needed to get two breasts. And then I got the Alaskan wild sockeye salmon. My favorite salmon is this one from Trader Joe's. I always buy my seafood wild caught, not um, farmed. So I got this. And then I saw that they had these new RX bars. They're the oats and peanut one. Oh, I guess it's called honey cinnamon peanut butter, but they sounded so good. Like I love cinnamon and peanut butter. So I bought four cause I'm like, I'm definitely gonna love these. And then I got some potatoes that I can roast and some broccoli. And then I also bought this oat milk. This one is a like clean and only two ingredient oat milk. There's water and hydrolyzed oats. Katie Musser posted this on her Instagram story and was saying that it's like a good cheaper alternative to the milk oat. So I'm gonna try it and see what I think about it. And then I also got two boxes of the frozen jasmine rice. I like microwaving these, but I also bought some jasmine rice to cook because I wanna start cooking my own rice and just use these like when I need it and don't have time. So I bought these, but I'm gonna actually cook rice. And then I also got some baby spinach and garlic. Then a thing of pasture-raised brown eggs, some avocados, some lemons. I bought some bananas. These ones are super green, but I did that on purpose because I already have like those bananas. And then I got some strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. Their blackberries didn't really look that good except for like the gigantic container and I didn't want that many blackberries so I didn't get those today. But I did buy a bag of frozen mango chunks. I've been obsessed with eating frozen grapes at night like as a snack but I heard that frozen mango as a snack is super good. So I'll try this out and then let you guys know. And then I just bought a couple of random things. I got the coconut aminos and this salsa verde. I thought that this might be good with chicken and rice. And then I needed some more, whoops, olive oil spray. I usually use the avocado oil one, but they didn't have that. So I just got this. That's an overview of my grocery haul. I'm going to start getting everything ready to meal prep and make some things to have for the week. So I need to put the rest of it away and then get out what I need to cook. some coconut aminos and sriracha for seasoning, but I'm gonna eat this while I watch The Bachelor. I just got into bed and I lit a candle, but I was watching The Bachelorette and still not the best season, but I have to say I do like the fact that they like split it off so that there's like guys for Gabby and then guys for Rachel because I hated that they were going through those feelings of like rejection and I don't know, it just like made me sad for them, but it's getting better and I like that they have like their own groups now, but I do think they should have just like had their own seasons individually. It's 10.46 and... I'm getting pretty tired. 
so i hope you guys enjoyed the vlog i'm gonna close it out here and if you don't have my post notifications on if you're not subscribed then you know what to do but yeah i love you guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next vlog good night